What is up guys? I have an awesome, awesome story to tell you guys. As you know, I lost my wallet in Charleston about, I don't know, weeks ago, weeks ago. It was very sad, super unfortunate. Well, I recently got to go to Auburn and I had an amazing experience there. While I was in Auburn, I got to go to mass and the priest during the homily was talking about how he had lost something when he was in another country. What he had actually lost was his man purse. That's what he called it. It had all of his stuff inside. It had his passport, all these things in this other country. And he had lost it when he was uh, actually in confession. Crazy, right? Okay, so he had lost it and it had been like hours of searching for this man purse that he couldn't find. Okay, so he forgets about it and then the next day he goes and he's in adoration and he's like, Jesus, wow, I realize that I have not included you in this conversation. Hey, Jesus, can you find my man purse? That would be awesome. So he prays about it and then wouldn't you know, a couple minutes later, another priest goes and he makes this little sign and he says he finds it. They find his man purse in the side of the church completely with all of his stuff inside. And I was like, whoa, that's a crazy story. Then it got me thinking about my life. And I was like, wait, I lost my wallet in Charleston. Did I ever ask God for it? I have no idea. So with that in mind, I was like, okay, God, I need you to help me find my wallet. Like, I know it's been like two, three weeks now, but that would be awesome because driving without a license isn't fun, okay? so. I went, I asked God in church, I forgot about it. I was like, okay, it's in your hands now. The next morning, my friend Grant Wyatt, who's in Charleston, who you saw in the videos, he does this peace sign. I'm on one, yeah. He calls me and he says he finds my wallet. It's been like three weeks. He finds my wallet. Apparently the cleaning lady had found it somewhere and she put it up on the shelf and he had just realized it was there. I have no idea when the cleaning lady found it. I have no idea when he, well, he saw it on that Monday when he told me. And I was like, mind blown. I was like, are you kidding me? This is crazy. But is it really crazy? Because God does miracles all the time. So I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. So I challenge you guys, if you, if there's something in your life right now where you're like, I want this, or I need this, or God, please help me with this, or help me find this, ask him for it. Because you know what? If he wants to perform this miracle and he wants to answer that like that's awesome and he'll show you and he'll do it but if he doesn't it's great too because you know what it's out of your hands now and it's in his will and it's super great so that's what i learned this week oh gosh it's crazy i love miracles jesus is awesome here's all the rest of the footage and it's great What's up guys? I'm here at Auburn University. They just beat Arkansas and it's absolutely crazy. People are throwing toilet paper all over the place. It's awesome. Crazy tradition. Crazy tradition. <laughs> Here with Kiernan, K Dog Doyle. You know him. Right now we're doing work projects. And we are uh, making sure kids don't fall off of these bunk beds, as you see. None of them have supports, so we're making those. Here we go. This is my friend Bobby, Bobby Toll. I'm Prayer Bobby. He's a seminarian in St. Louis. St. Louis. We are both first year missionaries together, and now he's a seminarian. Bobby, what's the best thing about being a seminary? The best thing about being a seminarian is, oh goodness, there are lots of good things. Uh, being able to have a chapel to pray in at all times, and just mm. being able to go 
and talk with Jesus whenever you want. Um, and also just community. Community, there's lots of good theologians there. Amen. Pray for Bobby. He's super awesome. He's my really good friend. He was actually my roommate. Roommate life. And there's Jorge walking away. I was his mentor. He was a mentor. So pray for Bobby. Please. It was awesome seeing him here. And we'll see you later. Thanks for your radical hospitality, Paul. Love you. Thank you.